thank you for this opportunity and also for your very hard work um, to date on these standards. I know it's been a difficult process. Um, by way of background, Compassion in World Farming is headquartered in the UK, but we have a US presence in Atlanta. And throughout our 50 year history, we have been integral to banning some of the cruelest confinement systems throughout the EU. Uh, and we've also provided comments and guidance to the EU organic standards and continue to provide those comments. Uh, and we work to end factory farming globally. Um, we appreciate the efforts that have been done to date. Uh, and then you, as, you, as you heard with some of the other comments, uh, we're deeply concerned with regard to the recent equivalency agreement between the EU and the USA regarding the organic standards. And there are very, some very significant differences between the EU and the US organic standards with regard to farm animal welfare. And I'd like to talk about some of those today and answer any of your questions that you might have. Um, we have been working in the EU with the organic community um, to raise our concerns with the Commission to this regard because we strongly disagree that these are equivalent standards at this stage. Um, we've had press and consumer interest in the EU. Uh, but we also have been emphasizing the wonderful opportunity we have here to have the U.S. organic standards rise to the potential of needing to be truly equivalent to the EU. Um, I've submitted lengthy comments, some of which outline the differences between the EU and the U.S., which you have received, but I'd like to talk, highlight a few of them that have concerned consumers in the EU, and of course will be highlighted when this equivalency agreement comes into effect on the 1st of June. Um, one of them is on water for swimming um, for ducks and geese. This has been mentioned already, but um, the EU organic standard says as follows, waterfowl shall have access to stream, pond, lake, or a pool whenever the weather and hygienic conditions permit, permit in order to respect their species-specific needs and animal welfare requirements, where the U.S. Um, organic standards just require dipping their heads or splashing their feathers, which could be accomplished through a small trough. The other big one for us is the minimum space allowance. Now, I know that we discussed this at the last meeting, but they are still too low. Um, we've discussed that the EU have, have, has an outdoor requirement of 43 feet squared per bird, and we're talking about two here. Uh, that's not equivalent. And um, there were other issues which are not addressed to date, which are, for example, there's no um, minimum space allowance for pigs, and there's extensively um, written space allowances for pigs in the EU, and for all species for that matter. So, um, electric prods are also expressly prohibited in the EU, and they are not in the US standards. So we respectfully urge you to incorporate the standards that have already submitted and continue your hard work to have the U.S. organic standards rise to the potential of um, what consumers expect in the spirit of organic. Thank you. Questions? Thank you. David Bruce on deck. 